The backpack program started uh, five years ago for us. Um, we uh, we're getting ready to do uh, share fest for uh, Nisley Elementary and uh, our children's ministry kind of adopted Nisley and um, they just saw there's such a great need. Leah saw kids were wrapping up food and putting them in napkins and she asked Curry, the principal, well, why are they doing that? And Curry said, because they don't have food for the weekend. And it just broke our hearts when we heard the story and we said we have to do something about that. And we heard about uh, a backpack program that was going on at um, Orchard Avenue. We said, we can do that. And so we started doing that. We thought it would be about 50 kids, and uh, within a few weeks, it was over 200. And then other schools started hearing about that. And by the end of the year, uh, we were doing well over 400 at seven different schools. And that's kind of how the backpack program started. Our first year, five years ago, this is our fifth year at Nisley, we were approached by individuals that wanted to offer us the backpack program. It's definitely become something that they, uh, that our students have relied on. Um, we noticed right away when we first got here that kids were eating everything on their trays and then uh, and still saying they're hungry. Students would want to take all the extra food and hide it away and those kinds of things. So when we were able to start with the backpack program and provide meals for our kids for the weekend, it seemed like it started to really even out their behaviors, um, in which case if their behaviors are and those needs are met, then they're ready for learning. And so they could be present in mind because they know that another meal is coming and they aren't worried about waiting two days um, until Monday for the next meal. By having a backpack and having food for the weekend, it significantly um, and immeasurably impacts our children. We are currently doing 11 schools right now, and right now it is in every school. And with the partnership with different churches and organizations, um, we've been able to do that. The people at Canyon View uh, really have been such an instrument of making it happen and continue to make it happen through financial support and through driving the food there, to volunteering in the schools, to packing the food here during the week. Um, we are handing out a little over 600 bags of food every week. It just, it, you can't imagine the tonnage of food that goes out. There is about 1,500 backpacks that go out every week to all the schools in the valley, um, from elementary through high school. We currently do 11 of the schools and we do over, a little over 600 of those. Yeah, we do it eight months a year. Uh, in, and we just we really fall in love with the schools and it just really opened a lot of doors for us um, to love our neighbors. St. Augustine says that our soul is restless until it rests in you and what was restless inside of me was I was not fulfilling my purpose. I think persons who are called into leadership are specifically people who are in tune with the purpose that God has for their lives, people who have a desire to serve, people who have a desire to impact the kingdom, who are kind of sitting there and that voice is saying inside of them that I'm calling you to a greater purpose, I'm calling you for a greater impact in my kingdom, I'm calling you to actually fulfill the destiny that I have placed um, you on earth to fulfill. People from all different walks of life, Learning, living, loving, and leading. That's what I believe leadership is all about.